black men have been emasculated in the Democratic Party. That's real. Mm. They don't see themselves because to lift up black women is beautiful. We should, but not at the expense of black men. Mm -hmm. We have achieved what we have achieved so far in this country because we are together. Nina, let me snatch what's left of those non-existent edges. Because what? Let's break this shit down to the bone. Because she said the Democratic Party is emasculating black men. Let's start off by the definition of emasculate. To deprive a male of his role or identity. Make a weaker or less effective. How the hell is the Democratic Party depriving black men of their position or roles when our minority leader is a black man by the name of Hakeem Jeffries? Now, maybe you don't see a black man because you don't think it's Hakeem Jeffries. Maybe you think it's Hakeem Jackson. Hakeem Jeffries is the first black person, period, to to ever hold that position to actually be the minority leader for a party in the U.S. Congress. Now explain to me, Nina, how that black women finally getting a seat at the table after turning up over and over and over again for the Democratic Party, constantly saving democracy and finally having a seat at the table and a voice in real representation, depriving black men of their authority and position of power. When we're just going off of history and looking at the stats and statistics and what we see in numbers, black women have constantly been looked over. We have never had a black woman sit on the Supreme Court justice until Kentaji Brown Jackson. We had two black men. We had Thurgood Marshall, and unfortunately, we got Clarence Thomas. Nina's entire talking point is divisive and rooted in misogyny, and what she unknowingly did was emasculate and erase my black-ass governor, Westmore. And Westmore is one of three black men to ever be elected as governor. There have been zero black women governors. When we're looking at the Senate, until LaFonso Butler, there was an empty seat. There was no black women in the Senate. Kamala Harris had ascended to the vice presidency, meaning the only black representation that we had in the Senate were all men. Cory Booker, Raphael Warnock, and unfortunately, Tim Scott. Even the DNC chair is a black man by the name of Jamie Harrison. Black men are not being overlooked by Democrats or even Biden. Did you know that our Secretary of Defense, the person who keeps us safe at home, is a black man? And you really tried it, trying to sprinkle some sugar on some shit saying it's a good thing for black women, but in the same breath, talk about how this emasculates men. Then she went on to talk about how Democrats uplifted the mothers of the movement. These were women who were struck by grief who lost their children due to gun violence and police brutality. You want to sit here and act like the Democratic Party didn't uplift the Tennessee Three, which consists of two black men and one white woman, and Justin Pearson was sitting in the very seat that you're sitting in. But let's continue. Mm -hmm. If Trump wins, God forbid, it is going to be because this president and the Democratic Party did not deliver material changes for Oh, so you saw C. Santana now. You want material, girl. Well, let's talk material. In 2018, you tweeted about how Americans deserve clean water, clean air, and clean food. But in 10 months of Biden's presidency, he passed the infrastructure bill, which allocated $50 billion in replacing lead pipes and making sure that we had clean water. So is that not material? On March 29, 2022, Joe Biden passed the Emmett Till anti-lynching bill after 200 failed attempts. And you tweeted that it's never too late to deliver on justice. So is he not delivering? And since we're talking about delivering, let's talk about these client deliverables in the words of corporate Karen. In 2020, you sent out a tweet talking about how the pandemic was hurting the working class, particularly black and brown people, and that people were filing for unemployment benefits. Well, as it stands in Ohio, the unemployment is at 5.8% for blacks. I wonder if Biden and Democrats are delivering. I guess you'll never know because Ohio said hell to the no twice to your black ass. Hey, Chantel. <laughs> But let's get back on the subject. Since Biden don't give a fuck about black men and don't give a fuck about deliverance of the American people, why the hell did he show up to a former educator by the name of Eric Fitz, a black man with his two boys, showed up to his house because he was a recipient of Biden's student loan forgiveness program. Eric Fitz got $90,000 worth of student loan debt forgiveness thanks to Biden. Is that not transformational? Is that not substance? Let me just say this in closing to you, Nina, because you know this and I know this. You're paying attention. You're very well versed when it comes to politics and you understand the policies that's been coming out of the Biden Harris administration and what Democrats have been doing, particularly for black people, because they never left black men behind. What you're trying to do is play point guard for our oppressor by trying to score some points for the other damn side because you're better, that you've been left behind. You have that same toxic mentality that Tubman had to leave certain slaves behind. And for the people watching this video and sitting in the back, just because they look like us and walk like us and talk like us don't mean that they for us. She ain't for us. She's for herself. Otherwise, she would have used that time to tell black men what policies are available for them that they can benefit from. 